Welcome to the third edition of the Gold Coast Airport Marathon training videos proudly presented by NBN Television, media partner, the Gold Coast Airport Marathon. My name is Pat Carroll, I'm a four-time winner of the Gold Coast Airport Marathon, a proud event ambassador and also online running coach at patcarrollonline.com. Here we are today on the beautiful Gold Coast beach. Behind me you'll see uh, Surface Paradise, the high rises at Surface Paradise and uh, I tell you what ladies and gentlemen, life certainly doesn't get much better than here on our beautiful Gold Coast. The scenery is just certainly unbelievable. Today I'd like to talk to you about running shoes. This will be the, uh, the best investment that you can make throughout your Gold Coast Airport Marathon campaign. What's between you and the road? What's going to keep you, help keep you injury free? Okay. You really need to get some good advice as to what shoe suits you. Okay. The same shoe is not going to suit everyone. Okay. And that may involve going to see a podiatrist and asking the podiatrist to check out your, uh, your foot stride and your running action and to get some advice as to what the best shoe is for you. The shoe has to feel 100% comfortable the second you put it on. There's no such thing as, oh, you'll run the shoe in. It'll feel great after the, the second or third or fourth. It'll, it'll take you a couple of weeks to run it in, mate. That's not true. Okay, the shoe has to fit like a glove. It has to fit really comfortable the second you put it on. You put the shoe on, doesn't feel right, get it off. Try something else. Some people will have a thin foot, some people have a thick foot. So you really need to find a shoe that's going to fit the shape of your foot. The laces on the shoe, okay, the laces on the shoe ideally will be the same distance all the way down. Okay, that means that that shoe is the right fit for your foot. If the laces are too wide at the top, then that means that possibly you need a wider shoe. And also you don't want to have the opposite where you've got too much room at the bottom here and it goes narrow here. It goes narrow here, so therefore that means that the, you know, your, your foot is too narrow for the shoe. So we'll look at the laces on the shoe, try and make sure that they're all the same distance all the way down. The front of your foot should be about a thumb's distance between the end of your big toe and the top of the shoe. So go for that thumb's distance, give you a bit of breathing room in the shoe. This shoe that I'm holding at the moment is a, is a great looking shoe, it doesn't have a lot of fancy stuff on it, but I can see that it's got a fantastic midsole and the midsole is going to offer you a lot of cushioning on the road and uh, it's also got some stability in there. Some people will need a more stable shoe than other people. Once again, your podiatrist will be able to give you the advice as the right type of shoe for you. Shoes will last you about a thousand kilometres, okay? Even though the outer sole on the shoe will still look a million bucks, it's the midsole that you really have to be concerned about because that's where a lot of the shock that's going to be absorbed. Once again, four to six times your body weight when you're running. It's a lot of, lot of force. So this little bit of meat here is going to help take some of that stress away, okay? If you get your shoe and you think maybe it might be at the end of its life, just get the shoe and try and bend it in the opposite way. If it bends in the opposite way easily, then that means that your midsole's shot and it's time to go shopping for a new shoe, okay? So get yourself a good running shoe. It will be the best investment you can make for your Gold Coast Airport Marathon campaign. For great range of running shoes, check out Essex.com.au. Essex will also have a great range of shoes and apparel at the Essex Sports and Leisure Expo at the Gold Coast Airport Marathon. Don't forget to go to the Gold Coast Airport Marathon Facebook page and post some comments and feedback about today's online training video. I'll be back with the fourth edition of the Gold Coast Airport Marathon online training videos on May 23 and I'll be helping you stay motivated. Okay, don't forget, entries are open for the Gold Coast Airport Marathon, so it's really time to commit yourself. Go online now, goldcoastmarathon.com.au, enter your event, and I'll see you next time.